And then I saw you after the first game. <laughs> You uh, started quickly in both sets and then you seemed to back off. Is the heat getting to you? No, <laughs> not at all. I think uh, um, the heat was not the thing. I think, like you said, I started very good and then a little bit back off. Um, I need to learn to keep this uh, way of playing for more longer uh, period of time and that's, I think, my next step. Do you think you should serve in volley more? No. <laughs> Why not? Come up to the because I'm not a person that is going to start in certain volley. It's not my style. I'm not going to start changing my style. I need to stick to my own style and improve in that. I think the whole week I've been serving very, very well. And that was the first match that I haven't served good. But uh, there is nothing to do to serve in volley for that. Shahar, you, you've played Nadia five times before and you've lost it all. Is that sort of when you lose the first set, does that sort of get in your head like I've never been here? No, not at all. Like you saw, I was starting very good also the second set. Um, you know, I just need to win the important points after this break. You know, in both sets, I also had 30 love and then she served huge. She really took it. Um, you know, this is part of the tennis. Uh, she's a great player. She's a player that can get out of a very tough situations with her serve. She was playing well and she deserved to win today. As a whole, when you're playing so many days back to back, how does that affect you? Um, I'm fine actually. I'm not exhausted and I'm not just has have a little bit of blisters in my feet. Um, but that's from the heat, but that's fine. And like I said, I'm in really good shape. Uh, the heat had nothing to do today for the loss and um, you know, I'm very encouraged for that because if I may I was doing well this week after playing three days in a row in a very hot conditions and always finishing like two days in a row pretty late and didn't get a lot of sleep so it's a good sign of my that I'm in a good shape. What specifically about today, the serving today did you think was not up to par? Was it just good? a little bit of timing, you know, there is no reason that four matches I will serve really good and then and like yesterday I served huge in the most important part of the game, like in the tie break and five four serving or four three serving. So, you know, it just unfortunately it happened today uh, when I really needed my serve because with a, such a big serve where you do, you do need to get some free points and I didn't get it today. Tried to fight back. There was one game I was up 40 down and came back. So, um, you know, I tried my best, but there is still a lot to improve. But I think it's a very good start for my uh, summer. I need, to, I need to take a lot from here. And, uh, you know, like I said in the beginning of the, the week, I hope to win this tournament. but. The most important thing is uh, your open, obviously. But do you, do you think that you? I didn't see you yesterday. Were your serves fast yesterday? Were they harder, or were they just? It's just placed? much more, much more percentage of first serve. What about the placement? Sounds it was much better. Um, maybe you should take the tape and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to have you know, like the vocal is really support? It's good, it always feels fun and you know it's a, lo a very good uh, feeling that you have a lot of people behind you, um, you know, and also people I know that come in to watch, so it's a good feeling. And uh, you said that uh, you made it to fire, so you might go catch one of the national team, you're still doing that? Yeah, I'm just, Annette is here, she just showed me my tickets for tomorrow, so I'm going to watch the game. That was the plan we said at the beginning of the week if I make the finals, so I'm staying one more day and I'm going to go tomorrow for the game. Yeah. All right. Be your first one, or have you been I've been once, but I don't remember. It was so long ago when I was small with my parents. Uh, we came for a trip in the U.S., but this is uh, going to be kind of my first time. There's another tennis tournament in town. You plan to go out there tomorrow just to take a look? No, thank you. <laughs> tennis is <Except> tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going next? I'm gonna go for to Florida for a few more days to uh, just practice a little bit, and then I'm off to Toronto, Cincinnati, a week off, and US Open. What are the positives that you take from the tournament, other than the stamina that you? And, and what? what are the positives that you take out of here? Um, winning four matches in a row after not doing it for so long, um, playing very good tennis, beating very good players. Um, improving each match progressively in the in the tournament and 
Obviously, you want to finish it with a win, but you know I don't want to go down on myself. I had a great week. I need to take the positive out of it and to see the I don't know how you say it in English, but where is the glass and the one with the focus. yeah. So that's what I need to look for. Did you like running into her again in the finals, considering how the five previous meetings went? Is that something you were hoping would happen when this thing started? Yeah, you know, I, I had a really good feeling, and like you so saw, I started very strong this the match, and the whole match I had a good feeling about that, and I thought the match can turn around every moment. It was just here and there a few points, you know, so it was 6 5, and it was very close, but didn't go my way today. But in terms of when, when the seed, knowing that you guys were the top two seats when this tournament started, were you hoping it would work out this way for you and me her? Uh, I was hoping to get to the final first. I wanted to concentrate on myself and then to see, and, uh, it doesn't matter that I need to concentrate on myself first. Um, yes, uh, Nadia Petrova went nearly three years between winning tournaments. Are you next? Next to what? Next to win. Hopefully, um, I'm really hoping, like I said, it's a good momentum for me, winning tough matches and fighting off uh, a lot of matches. So I really hope to win uh, maybe in the next few ones, and of course the, uh, the best one will be in the Open, so we'll see. Thank you. At the top, it's wide open now in the women's game. Do you think Nadia is one of the players who will be a factor this summer? Like you said, it's wide open. I think all of us can win every single week. You never know what's going to happen. There is a lot of talented in the tour. Um, you know, it's going to be a very interesting uh, summer. Do you see anyone in particular stepping forward? Not particularly, you know, there's so many good girls and obviously now the Williams sister coming back it's going to be a big effect. Uh, I mean, I can see Serena is playing well this week, um, kind of going after all the players and beating them pretty easily. So it's going to be interesting. Kaiser is coming back and, you know, Wozniak and, you know, everybody's in great shape. So it's going to be interesting somewhere. Anything else? When you met with your coach when you were down five times, what did you guys talk about? Um, he just said, like, I need to keep going out after my shots, try to feel, like, believe I can still win, um, move my legs, um, try to put more first serves in, like, first, second, and, you know, everything can change and just try your best. It seemed like you took a lot off your first serve in the last game just to get a minute's worth of time. Yeah, because, uh, like I said, I didn't have a lot of percentage and in the match itself, like even the first set, I kept going on first first and it didn't go in, but I kept going, kept going and you know, there is a time you say, okay, try to change something, you want to get more first serves, this first serve in, so I did try to change something. This, this is really trivial, but I'm curious, does that necklace, is there a special story behind what you're wearing? Um, I got it for my birthday this year from my parents. Um, I know it's a nice one, but I don't know any story about it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Bye.